Hi everyone, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Pandora Fanatic. It's good to be back. I've been um, making a few new designs and posting them on my Instagram page of the same name as Pandora Fanatic with um, 2023. Um, and I thought that because I don't have a lot of new stuff to show you uh, with Pandora at the moment, I'll show you a new design. Um, so we have here on a 19 centimeter non-clip station bracelet. Um, let's move it in. This is I called this bracelet for the love of purple. Um, I've got my clip chained here and an old retired purple zirconia clip. I've had them for a very long time. One of my first pieces I ever, ever bought. Um, the reason I put these on here is because when I take this off to use it on another bracelet, it's so it doesn't all fall apart. And this one here, I think was called um, Sense of Shimmer? No. Something Radiant Droplets? Something. That was an expensive charm too. Very, very pink, very pretty. We'll move on a bit closer. Then I have just a plain silver heart. It's a bit scratched. I bought that one from a pawn shop. A uh, wavy purple Murano. Very pretty. Very pretty. I like those so much. I bought four. A um, dark, dark purple um, petite faucet and one of my matching spaces for the purple clips. They were a pricey charm, however they do create a lot of interest. I think I bought these pre-loved too. But, um, yeah. Purple metallic heart. Another wavy purple Murano. Oh. Her Majesty. Spacer. And my purple radiant heart charm. doesn't really show the purple. I mean it does come up more like that um, purple in the light but in this light I don't know why it's um, looking pretty dark. It's been raining here. Um, repeat of a Her Majesty space star. I do have the ring that goes with that. Another purple wavy Murano and one of the old birthday blooms hearts with possibly an amethyst but it might be a zircon I don't don't know haven't really looked it up properly another spacer purple zirconia spacer a different purple petite faucet another purple wavy Murano and a, me uh, a more heart it's got love and a more and stuff on it um, French and English and this one here is just a plain pink pave charm another one of my clips and safety chain so I was pretty chuffed with that I, um, my photo on Instagram is nicer however um, yeah I had taken my photograph with my amethyst ring birthday bloom I've got a pink opal on this finger today Something really nice about um, 
Pandora's Oldies and something else I have, but I haven't actually worn yet, are the matching amethyst earrings because I love purple. They do have a firm back, but being old Pandora, these earrings are quite heavy. Very pretty amethyst. So, I'll put these back here. I hope you guys are all having a good day. Staying safe and um, having a good day. Yep. Um, quick question for everybody out there. I've been cleaning up my essence and this one here if I can show you it's got this wonderful glow and in some lights it shines quite orange and um, I know it's got some black floaty bits in there it's probably been soaked or just time I don't know but if anyone could let me know whether or not this is an actual opal or just a opalescent um, man-made one, I would really appreciate it because I don't know what it is. It kind of looks like a sunset. It is the friendship one and um, for some reason I felt like putting just one on this bracelet. So that's about it for today. Um, those actually looked quite nice together. Um, yeah, so like if you like. Um, subscribe if you haven't. I'd love to have you at my channel. Or checking out my Instagram or both. Um, what else? Yeah, let me know in the comments uh, what you think that bead might be. I've googled it, I've looked and looked and looked and to no avail I can't for, I can't for the life of me find out anything else apart from it being opal or opalescent. So anyway a very short video. Um, take care. I'll see you next time. Bye!